Tanya. Welcome to Infinity Learn Need by Sri Chaitanya. And today we will be studying about different microbes and their specific utilization. Yes. So since childhood, whenever you know we hear about microbes, we <coughs> हमें हमेशा ये लगता है कि जो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स होते हैं वो बहुत ही ज़्यादा हार्मफुल ऑर्गेनिजम्स होते हैं एंड दे आर नॉट गुड फॉर आर हेल्थ एंड दे विल ऑलवेज यू नो हार्म अस बट ऑफ कोर्स इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट बिकॉज वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स देर आर सर्टन माइक्रोब्स विच आर रियली रियली हेल्पफुल इन वेरियस फील्ड ओके एंड टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट टू ऑफ सच फील्ड वे आर द माइक्रोब्स आर रियली इंपॉर्टेंट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ देयर यूटिलाइजेशन वी गेट बेनिफिट इवन इकोनॉमिकली और राइट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट फील्ड दैट वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इज गोइंग टू बी माइक्रोब्स इन हाउस होल्ड यू नो इट्स नॉट जस्ट नाउ कि आज हम साइंस पढ़ रहे हैं आज हम बायोटेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में बातें करते हैं तो फिर हमें पता है कि माइक्रोब्स का यूटिलाइजेशन हो सकता है और हम माइक्रोब से बेनिफिट भी ले सकते हैं बट इवन इन एंशियन टाइम्स वेन यू नो पीपल वर नॉट मच अवेयर अबाउट साइंस देन ऑल्सो दे हैव ऑलवेज बींग यूटिलाइज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड दे हैव यू नो गॉट द बेनिफिट आउट ऑफ इट इट्स जस्ट दैट कि उन्हें खुद नहीं पता था दैट दे आर यूटिलाइजिंग द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैसे आज भी हमारे घर में हमारे घरों में हम दही जमाते हैं सो दिस हैज बीन टेकिंग प्लेस सिंस एवर राइट हाउ डू वी डू इट सो वी टेक स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ कर्ड जिसे हम इनोक्यूलम कहते हैं सो वी टेक स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ कर्ड एंड वी एड इट टू द मिल्क एट अ वेरी मॉडरेट टेम्परेचर राइट एंड वी कीप इट ओवर नाइट एंड द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग वी सी दैट द मिल्क इज कन्वर्टेड टू कर्ड राइट सो हाउ डज इट एक्चुअली हैपन बेसिकली If we take the small amount of curd, so that curd consists of certain microorganisms, either Lactobacillus or lactic acid bacteria, which we also call as Lab. Okay, these microorganisms they eat up the proteins of the milk, specifically the casein protein. Okay, when they eat up the uh, you know milk protein, they actually coagulate the milk into the curd, and that is how the formation of milk into curd takes place. So, ये हो तो हमेशा से रहा है, लेकिन हमें खुद नहीं पता था, या फिर हमारे जो एंसेस्टर्स हैं उन्हें खुद नहीं पता था दैट दे आर यूटिलाइजिंग सर्टन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड दे आर टेकिंग आउट द बेनिफिट ऑफ इट राइट सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ एग्जैक्टली द मिल्क इज कन्वर्टेड टू कर्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स सो यस द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट हैज बीन रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस इज ऑलवेज बीन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कर्ड फ्रॉम मिल्क राइट so the bacteria is involved over here they are lactobacillus or lab which is lactic acid bacteria correct to yahan pe kya hota hai first of all the inoculum is being taken inoculum is nothing but small amount of curd okay small amount of curd is added to the milk at moderate temperature okay so when we add the inoculum to the milk at a moderate temperature and we keep it overnight the next morning we see that milk is already converted to the curd right how does it take place because here the proteins are being eaten up of the milk or we can say that milk proteins are being eaten up specifically the casein protein right when the casein protein is being eaten up by the inoculum because the kind of bacteria which is present already in that that is lactobacillus or lactic acid bacteria which is the lab so that is how the coagulation process takes place over here coagulation of milk takes place because of this and ultimately the curd is being formed correct so that is how the formation of curd takes place and this is one of the major utilization of microbes other than this as well if i tell you about 
the fermentation process this is also one of the most important processes for us where the microorganisms are utilized and whenever we talk about fermentation process to hame pata hai that either the ethanol will be produced over here and also the carbon dioxide is uh, the carbon dioxide gas is going to get released because of which there will be a certain puffiness in our food items that we can experience right so agar hum fermentation ki baat karte hain so there are fermented food items that we consume and then of course there are fermented beverages all the alcohol beverages like beer wine whiskey brandy rum जिसमें सबका फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेस डिफरेंट होता है बिकॉज इट डिपेंड्स कि आप कौन से फूड आइटम से उस अल्कोहलिक बिवरेज का फॉर्मेशन कर रहे हैं ठीक है सो यस इट टेक्स प्लेस थ्रू द फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेस बट इट्स नॉट एग्जैक्टली द सेम फॉर एग्जांपल अगर मैं बियर और वाइन की बात करती हूँ सो बियर और वाइन का जो प्रोडक्शन होता है दैट टेक्स प्लेस विदाउट द डिस्टिलेशन प्रोसेस बट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट विस्की ब्रांडी एंड रम सो दीज बेवरेजेस आर बेसिकली फॉर्म्ड विथ द डिस्टिलेशन प्रोसेस ओके Now, if I talk to you about the food items, so food items may wherever we need that uh, you know sour dough, and wherever we need that puffiness, yes, the fermentation process is used and the fermentation process is required. For example, if I talk about dosa, idli, bread, uh, cheese. Okay, uh, if you see those uh, really big holes in the Swiss cheese, that's because of more amount of carbon dioxide. So yes, the puffiness and the fluffiness over there in certain fermented food items, it's because of the amount of carbon dioxide that is being released or that is you know being formed during the process of fermentation. And when we talk about fermentation, there is one microorganism that is always utilized in the fermentation process, and that is the yeast, which is your Saccharomyces cerevisiae. All right, so. First of all, we really need to know that the name of the yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Okay, it's also known as brewer's yeast. Okay, so it's helpful in the fermented food items. for their formation and also for alcoholic beverages so if i talk to you about alcoholic beverages as i told you wine and beer they will take place without distillation correct whereas if i talk to you about whiskey brandy and rum these will take place their formation will take place with distillation okay correct now if i talk to you about the fermented food items over here it includes everything with the sour dough okay um bread cheese cheese is you know one of the most ancient food items that we have been utilizing that too with the help of the fermentation process okay dosa idli etc so here what is going to happen here the puffiness is important that depends on the amount of carbon dioxide gas which is being released during the process of fermentation right so that was about the fermentation process where again we utilize the microorganism and now the last thing that we are going to discuss the last utilization of, that we are going to discuss today it's going to be about the antibiotics all right so over here anti is the word that means against and bio means life so antibiotic all together it means against life so against life of the disease causing microorganisms whereas if you talk about humans it's going to be pro life 
for humans but against the life of disease causing microorganisms. So this was really important because with the help of microorganisms itself, we can make a medicine or we can make, you know, a substance that will help us get rid of the microorganism itself, okay? So that was really, really important. And as we already know that the first antibiotic was introduced to us by Alexander Fleming, right? And the antibiotic was penicillin. that he observed from one of his cultures that he was already preparing. So those cultures were about to get spoiled and from that only he observed. So he named it penicillin because of the microorganism that was penicillium notatum. And then this penicillin, this antibiotic was really utilized and it was really, really important because it, it was actually helpful, uh, you know, in, cure, in curing all the wounds in the Second World War. Okay. Of Americans, of course. in World War II. So that was, that's why it was really, really important. Yes, it, it was introduced by Alexander Fleming, but later on, the proper usage, it was also told to us by Flore as well. All right, so that was it. And these were all the utilizations of the microbes. I hope that you found this session interesting. If you did, please do not forget to hit the like button. And I'm going to see you in the next session with another interesting facts. Thank you.